So let's talk about shock absorbers, or dampers as some people call them. What are they? Where do you find them? Well, in just about every vehicle, you're going to have two at the rear of the car and two at the front of the car. What do they do? Well, they have a very important role. Unlike many people think, they actually don't hold the weight of the car. The spring is what holds the weight and the load of the car. What the shock absorber does is as you drive down the road and you're banging over bumps, it captures and manages the energy that's consumed by hitting that bump. And equally so, as your leaf spring deforms or your coil spring deforms when you hit the bump, the shock absor absorber manages the release of that energy. So, wherever you find a shock absorber on your car, rest assured, you're going to find a spring somewhere close by. Now, when we look at how a shock absorber actually works, in its simplest form, if you like, here's a shock absorber, and there's two main parts. The shaft and the body. Now, the body is completely sealed tight, and inside that body is fluid, oil, and forms of gas. And what happens as you hit a bump and that compresses, there's a piston in here going up and down on the end of that shaft, and the fluid, this red stuff here, literally goes from one side of the piston through either holes or valves to the other side of the piston and back again. Now, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to think about, wow, how many times that's happening as you're going over a bumpy road or round a corner up and down. And when you hit a big bump, sometimes that can be moving as fast as a metre or even a metre and a half per second. And if I grab my spring, you can kind of see, if I set him there, you can sort of see how a spring would sit in what would be called a coil-over application. That's not how all applications are, but that's a fairly typical application. Now, what I want to talk about here, though, is Nolithane's shock absorber bushings, lower and upper. And there's a whole range of bushings that are available for different applications. But these have had to develop over the years for a number of reasons, because as shock absorber technology has developed, so have these needed to. We now require extra travel. We don't require it, we actually expect it. We've got vehicles way up off the ground now. And what that means, this shock absorber needs to open up way further and close from where it used to, changing the angularity of the shock absorber. All of those sort of things put more load on the bushings. Greater load bearing. We all expect and can carry more load in our vehicles. So again, more demand for the bushings. Tyre technology simply means more loads going into everything. And importantly, tyre profile. The sidewall of your tyre that is kind of a spring, an uncontrolled one by the way, which is not a good thing, uh, also has diminished in size, down to we see low profile tyres now. So again, that's putting more load into the shock absorber and by default, the shock absorber bushing. So what exactly do shock absorber bushings look like? Well, first of all, Nolithane make a raft of products in this area of the car. They make your spring insulators that sit underneath your spring there or on top of your spring in some instances, uh, upper and lower shock mounts or shock bushings as we call them, uh, strut mounts, so a, a whole range of them. Now, if we look at how they've progressed over the years, here's some early type shock absorber bushings. So particularly this one here I want to show you. Look at the size of that versus a current type bushing. And that tells you a lot about the demand we we're talking about over here. And when you look, that might go in the lower there. But with shock absorbers, a lot of times people will replace or a workshop will replace shock absorbers when in fact there was nothing wrong with the shock absorber. All it was is the bushing was flogged out and often it'll be just the typical old ordinary rubber bushing. Now, Nolithane, as we know, don't use rubber. What they use is this polyurethane, which ain't just ordinary polyurethane either. Highly developed over 43 years, I can tell you, of R&D. So whether you've got new shock absorbers or old shock absorbers, I would thoroughly recommend for a superior outcome, install Nolithane shock bushings.